Ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing? So this is Brandon and today we are talking about NVIDIA's new CMP or crypto mining processors. Basically they're mining GPUs. So um, NVIDIA had released that these were going to be coming out in uh, response to limiting the hash rate on the RTX 3060 12 gig, blah, 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 blah. Well, anyway, uh, here is the first one I assume that has been out in the wild or spotted or reported on. Let me flip it on over here. Um, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So WCCF Tech, awesome, uh, awesome little website right here. They got a lot of info. But apparently a, uh, a gigabyte model, CMP30HX, crypto mining GPU, uh, has been spotted in the wild. It's got a single 8-pin connector, and uh, it runs on the TU116 core. So uh, this core is not surprising. Um, it's a 1660 or a 1660 super core. It's probably the 1660 super core. Uh, be um, just just going off of uh, assumptions here, but it's got 1,408 CUDA cores, just like the 1660 Super, and it's got six gigabytes of GDDR6, just like the 1660 Super. Um, it's got a rated 125 uh, watt TDP, um, so more than likely, if you got your hands on one of these, I don't know why you would, unless these things are really cheap, um, but they'll probably do anywhere from 28 to 30 mega hash on Ethereum, at around 90 watts give or take that that's basically what a 1660 super can do with overclocks nobody runs them at 125 watts at least not intentionally um but yeah so not not real exciting here ladies and gentlemen they're repackaging and just it, this is not new hardware uh, as you see in the article it even says a turing gpu core that's that's last gen that is last generation. So um, they don't have any kind of pricing in this article. Uh, apparently it's got the Windforce 2X cooling solution, which they think is like a really cool thing. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, a lot of the mining GPUs of the past would come with no coolers on them. They would just come with a, uh, a heat sink with no fans. Sorry, they came with a cooler. They would come with a heat sink, but no fans. Um, no cooler would just be like bare PCB. Um, it says the heat sink beneath is made up of several aluminum fins and makes use of a massive copper, uh, heat pipes to dissipate heat. The card is powered by a single eight pin connector, just like a 1660 super, which should deliver it necessary power to maintain its TGP profile. The side of the shroud has a large CMP logo, which confirms that this card is made for cryptocurrency mining. And the fact that it has absolutely no displays on it. That's pretty much a dead giveaway too. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, NVIDIA CMP, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like some people were wondering if they were going to hide a single output behind the dis or behind the IO bracket. It doesn't look like they're hiding anything back there, ladies and gentlemen. And it's odd, this is a two slot card, but it comes with a single slot IO bracket. What is up with that? Cheaping out on us. Um, they actually rate the 30HX at 26 mega hash. Uh, out of the box, a 1660 Super, that's about right. This is about 25 to 26 mega hash. So, um, oh, they do have, um, it should cost somewhere within the 200 to $300 US pricing range. Why are people buying these things? I don't understand. A 1660 Super, well, if you can buy one. MSRP on a 1660 Super is 229 and they've popped up in inventory and out of inventory basically all year in the high $200, low $300 range. Why would you pay the same amount of money for a card that's going to have less resale value because you're not going to be able to sell it to gamers because it has no IO brackets? Um, and honestly, it kind of looks like a cheaper card. Like this, this is definitely nothing special. Like they're calling it like the wind force 2x cooling this is this is about as cheap as it comes i i hate to say that i and not, i'm not speaking bad on you gigabyte if you're watching gigabyte i'd love to work with you gigabyte but um i i don't see the appeal uh i i don't get it now will we even ever you know as like you know consumers be able to buy these cards i think these are 
definitely getting served up to server and mining farms before we'll ever get to touch them 100 so I, I don't think we have to worry about contemplating should we or should we not buy them um but yeah it's just it's, it's kind of stinks you know what i'm saying so on down the list it lists the uh, cmp 40 hx as the tu 106 i believe that is a uh the 2060 core we can actually look it up here so that's another Turing architecture uh, GPU. The TU-106 is the 2060 Super and the 2070. So on those, it's showing 36 mega hash. More realistic with overclock supplied. Those probably are going to get 40 to 44. That's what the 2060 Supers and the 2070s can get. And you can pull those things down to about 130 to 140 watts and definitely not running them at 185 um now the cmp 50 hx lists that as the t tu 102 so still a turing or a last last generation um tech on this one so like kind of crazy oh i did not let's see what the tu 102 is i don't know off the top of my head is that a 20 2080 ti is the tu one tu 102 and got 10 gigabytes of vram 250 watts 45 mega hash so you you'll be able to get a little bit more hash out of those 50 range low 50s um and you should be able to get those down to i never had a 2080 ti personally but i think they were you could get them down to 180 to 190 on the wattage rate rating which if you compare that to a 3060 ti or a 3070 is actually not good at all um i guess time will tell on that apparently that's not coming out to quarter two of 2021 uh but the first two are coming out in march which it is march so i guess we'll see some of those other ones popping up and then last but not least the big boy the cmp 90 hx which is actually the only card out of the cmp lineup that's on a new generation core and it's the ga 102 which it shares the core with the 3080 the 3080 Ti and the 3090. Which one does it actually share it with? Let's see here. It's the GA102100, which none of those have that exact core. Those are GA102200, 250, and 300. So um, it's got the same amount of shaders as the regular 3080, and not their CUDA cores. Sorry, you could call them shaders right here. Uh, so I would, yeah, it's definitely just a cut down 3080. It's not a cut down 3080 Ti or 3090. So on this list right here, it shows 320 watts at 86 mega hash. Depending on the memory temperature and thermal throttling and what kind of coolers they use, 3080 will absolutely do 100 mega hash at low 200 watt range, 220, 240. So um, yeah, that one sounds the most appetizing, but still, depending on price, it's, if it's anywhere close MSRP, to what a 3080 should be msrp i don't see how people are going to buy them i mean i know people are going to buy them because there's people out there that overpay and and you know buy cards for two three times their value but the the thing is like should you buy them you know what i mean and obviously i'm not here to tell anybody to buy stuff or not to buy stuff if i had the chance and these were a really good deal i'd probably pick them up if somebody was like hey man um, I got a box or a case of CMP 30 HXs, which are essentially 1660 supers, by the way. Um, and they're 199 a piece. I would think really long and hard. And then I'd be like, all right, let me get them. Um, and I just take the risk on seeing if I could ROI on them before the market turned. Cause once the market turns, it's kind of like the P 106s back in the day, P 106s were going for a couple hundred bucks a piece. And, um, I mean, they're probably back up in that price range now. You know what? Since we're since we're near the end of the video, let's go on a, let's go on over to eBay. If you don't care to just hang around, then I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. And uh, in other words, yeah, let's let's see what a P106 100 is going for. Buy it now, lowest price, four hundred dollars. What the heck? Okay, they're basically non-existent. These cards did get down into the fifty to eighty dollar rate, uh, eight, fifty to eighty dollars um range and now they're inflated back up just because of the market so it, it's hard man it's hard to say on anything so i guess you know do your research do your due diligence and then just 
be happy with what you buy. But my my go to is is getting graphics cards that have display outputs. I've had a couple mining specific graphics cards or mining GPUs with no displays, and you're kind of stuck with them in a bear market. So it's like it's like dang, I'm not selling this thing off for you know a quarter of what I bought it for. So you're yeah, you're here to stay, buddy. I have a 470 with no displays, and I've just had that thing for a long time. Is mine. I'm gonna own it. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Well, have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. If anything else pops up about the new uh, mining cards, I'll keep you guys tuned in. And um, if if you actually own one of these or bought one or had the opportunity to buy one, please reach out to me. I'd love to see your take on them. Maybe we can get a little bit of footage, do some collabs, and um, show people what they're actually doing. Because um, I, I don't I don't think I'm gonna actually I don't get the opportunity to buy one, let alone be be able to buy one. So, yeah. Peace. See you on the next one. Adios.